So in this example, we have test results at a large school at the end of year 9 for maths are historically known to have a mean of 65 and a standard deviation of 10. One year, revision questions are added into the starter of each lesson. A random sample of eight students in the year group have a mean score of 72. Is there evidence at a 1% significance level to suggest the revision questions have made a difference to the year 9 mean score? OK, so let's start off with defining mu. So let mu be the population mean uh, score in the end of year nine test for maths. So the null hypothesis is that it hasn't changed. So mu is 65. And the alternative, because we're looking to see whether it has made a difference, that uh, doesn't imply any direction there. So the alternative is that it's not equal to 65. OK, so we're looking at a two-tailed test. So if we assume H0 is true, then we're going to set up a normal distribution for the sample means which has a mean of 65 and a variance of, well, the standard deviation there is 10, so 10 squared divided by the sample size, which is 8. Now, in this video, I'm going to use a p-value method. So we're looking at the probability of x bar being, well, because um, the mean score here was 72, and the mean here is 65, you always want to work away from the mean. So visually, here's your normal distribution. There's 65, and 72 is over here. So you want to work away from the mean. So we're looking at greater than 72. So we're going to go to the calculator. And I'm going to go to number 7. Um, and then I want normal CD. So I want my lower value to be 72, my upper value to be a nice large number. Sigma is the square root of 10 squared over 8, so 10 divided by the square root of 8, and that's 3.5355, and the mean is 65. So we get 0 0.023857. So let's round that to four decimal places. So 0 0.0239 to four decimal places. Now, uh, we're looking at a significance level of 1%. So what we need to compare this against is half of the significance level. So we need to compare it against 0.5%. Even if we were comparing against 1%, we wouldn't be rejecting the null hypothesis, of course. But we need to make sure we're comparing against the correct figure here. So this is clearly greater than 0 0.005. So that is one half, well, half a percent. OK. So because it's greater than, the result is not significant. So we fail to reject H0. Now I'm leaving a gap because I'm going to, in the next couple of videos, go through the other couple of methods. Okay, and I know I need some more space. So the result is not significant, so we fail to reject H0. There is insufficient evidence to suggest that the population mean score in the end of year 9 
maths test uh, has changed. Or there is a difference. Okay, and so that is my conclusion.